I've heard from many Idahoans how they've been impacted by the troubling trading halt of the metamaterials or MMTLP con uh, investors across the country share these same concerns. They have a lot of questions about what happened, the inability to sell the stock, and potential IRS implications. And to get answers about what happened, they've sent letters and made freedom of information requests of uh, the SEC and I believe FINRA as well. And uh, as of this point, uh, I don't think we have the full response. And you know that my office has engaged to get answers as well. Can you confirm that the SEC is reviewing the trading halt from December 2022? And will you commit to publicly releasing the SEC's findings on this investigation? Um, let, let me just sort of step back. FINRA uh, is separate from the SEC, and they have a set of rules. They're organized, and they, those rules are approved by the SEC after public comment, but they then uh, move forward and implement their rules. Uh, the matter that you raised uh, around metamaterials, if I recall the name yes. of it, um, uh, in December of 2022, 22. if I recall, um, under FINRA's rules, they sought uh, trading hot. They didn't seek the SEC's uh, advice or permission on that. That is something that they did separately in that matter. So is the SEC not investigating these actions at all? The, the, the SEC's role is to investigate um, uh, many things in the capital markets. We don't speak to specific investigations, but we do, on a regular basis, examine FINRA for compliance with their rules and examine them on a regular basis on whether they're following their own rules as um, put out to public comment. And are you examining their process and their uh, compliance with their own rules with regard to MMTLP? Um, we, we regularly examine, because they're such an important part of the capital markets, we examine them uh, uh, annually, I think, uh, part of our division of examination has a whole unit that examines FINRA on a regular basis. Well, I don't know whether this question uh, relates to you or FINRA or both, but the investors have asked for, for the aggregated audited share count for the MMTLP and for the blue sheet data to ascertain, ascertain whether MMTLP shares were subject to counterfeit and naked short selling. Uh, have FINRA and the SEC analyzed MMTLP for any potential fraud or wrongdoing? Uh, we, we seek to analyze fraud and wrongdoing wherever it might be in our capital markets, and certainly uh, uh, we're well aware of these matters, but I can't speak about specific possible investigations or even confirm or deny whether we have them because it protects the markets that, you know, when we, when we sometimes close an investigation and we don't find something. Um, but certainly we could follow up staff about the specific questions about data. All right. Am I hearing you say, though, I, I, I do believe I'm hearing you say that there could be an investigation underway, but you can't give data about it. But if there is an investigation underway into these matters, and if that investigation finds answers, is that information not going to be made available to the public? Um, we only make information as a result of any investigation public if we either settle or bring charges in a competent courts. Um, and that really helps protect the public and protects uh, individuals when we don't bring charges. Well, then how are investors and, frankly, Congress to know whether you have even undertaken such an investigation or whether such an investigation has resulted in any outcome? Um, Again, part of, I think, uh, the, the trust in our capital markets is being a cop on the beat, but also when we close investigations that are, do not result in either uh, litigation or a settlement, uh, that that's really between those various registrants or market participants uh, that it's been closed, and they have a right to say if it's been closed or not. Thank you, Senator Grapo. You can follow up, obviously, with written questions. I see that my time has expired. I will be following up with you on this issue, Mr. Or Chairman Ginsler. I, I, I look forward to our senator and just let us know when you'd like to. Okay, so take a close look at 
Gary Gensler's face. That face is not of an honest man. That face resembles more closely to a guilty man. A man that knows a lot more than what he is letting on. And this meeting proves it. And I'm going to show you something else that proves it. Remember this? Yeah. Yeah. Monday, December 5th, 2022. You're telling me that Gensler didn't know about this? Whose name is redacted? That remains to be seen. But one thing that we know for certain is that uh, Mr. Sam Drady, the person who was in this email, used to work for the SEC. So Mr. Gensler undoubtedly knows who Sam Drady is. And for anyone watching, uh, if you don't know who Sam Drady is, he is uh, the vice president of the um, Financial Crimes Unit at FINRA. Um, he is a uh, team lead for the detection of fraud at FINRA. But before that, he used to work at the SEC. He used to work in enforcement at the SEC, if I'm not mistaken. So... Um, he knows a lot of what's going on, and I, for one, would love to see him on that stand next. But enough of Sam Drady. Back to Gensler. So, in that meeting, Gary Gensler made several statements that contradict each other, and that raises eyebrows. It looks suspicious when you have the commissioner of the SEC contradicting himself. And when someone contradicts themselves, usually it's one of two things. Ignorance or outright lies. I'm willing to bet that Gensler probably exhibits a combination of both, but I'm going to go ahead and play it just so that you all can get it as well. Um, I'm going to show you the contradiction if you haven't gotten it already. We, we regularly examine, because they're such an important part of the capital markets, we examine them uh, uh, annually, I think. Uh, part of our division of examination has a whole unit that examines FINRA on a regular basis. Did you catch that? Here, I'll play it again. We examine them... Uh, uh, Annually, I think. So which is it? Annually or regularly? Because last time I checked, regularly and annually are completely different. Annually is once a year. Regularly is on a regular basis. He contradicts himself here by making that statement. And when you have a commissioner of the SEC saying, uh, I think, and, you know, stuttering and not speaking with confidence. Uh, I mean, that just, that, that just blows my mind. I mean, this is the person that's protecting the capital markets. Because when you, when you stumble like that, and you give that kind of uncertainty and low confidence, I'm not feeling very protected as an investor. The commissioner said it himself. He says regularly and then it's annually, I think. What is that? What is that? Because it sounds to me like it's not only a lack of confidence, but maybe, maybe he's lying. That's what I get out of that. It sounds to me 
like this man is not only does he have like a lack of confidence as a SEC commissioner, he also shows a sign of nervousness, nervousness, the kind of nervousness that when confronted with truth runs and hides and scrambles for help runs and hides and looks for a way out and when you get that kind of uncertainty from the SEC commissioner that's 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 not a good sign at all it's it's a serious serious problem so even if we're going to play devil's advocate and say that he's not lying he is acting as a very unconfident very uninformed and very negligent commissioner at best. Now, let's take a look at this real quick. So this was a part of the FOIA emails that got uh, released to the public earlier this year. Now, this email clearly states that Benra had received threats about the halt. And uh, this was from Mr. Robert Cook, the uh, CEO of FINRA himself. Um, you know, it speaks for itself. I, I mean, you know, it flat out gives us insight as to what went on at FINRA after that halt. Now, I'm not sure how clear this will come up, so I'm going to gonna I'm going to go ahead and read this aloud just in case you may be aware already but we have received a large number of complaints on social media and directly to FINRA related to a trade halt that we issued on Friday some of these communications have included threats related to FINRA in general as well as to certain of our employees out of abundance of caution we are asking our team to work from home tomorrow and the rest of the week, unless there is a particular business need to be in the office. I have forwarded below the first two emails we sent to our staff today. I will send the second one separately. We would be happy to provide you and your team with a more detailed briefing on this, if that will be helpful. Kind regards, Robert. So, I have reason to believe that Ginsler knew about this. I mean, after all, if they regularly examine FINRA and within compliance of their own rules, they would know about something like this. I mean, you know, FINRA staff is out of work for a whole week, you know, working from home. There's no way I'm going to believe that Ginsler didn't know about that. I mean, that's, that's a huge deal. And FINRA is a regulator that has, according to them, received threats, which, I mean, you know, I guess I could believe that, but FINRA has received threats. So, I mean, it's 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 really concerning if Gensler didn't know about that. I believe that he did and that he's lying, but it's it's concerning if he didn't know about this. Okay, so here we have a image of Gary Gensler and our very own Anna Trades, Anna Trades on Twitter. Um, give her a follow if you haven't already. Um, a, a image of Anna Trades asking Gensler about MMTLP. Now, someone added the dialogue bubbles. Um, you know, so it's 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 obviously satire. Um, Anna says, "So we're clear. You're aware of MMTLP." Kinsler says, of course, but I'll never admit it in public. <laughs> yeah, that's that's perfect. So s s someone added the the uh the dialogue bubbles, you know, which I think is kinda kinda funny. But um um I spoke to Anna about this conversation she had with uh Gary Ginsler and she asked him flat out, you know, are are you aware of and then TLP. And according to Anna, he said yes. So, 
we knew he knew about it before that Crapo hearing. We all did. So, um, you know, when, when Gensler tries to uh, act all unsure and, and say things like, oh, uh, metamaterials, I think, right? We know it's all bullshit. We know that. Good news. We have this letter out from Mr. David Valadeo's office. Um, 22nd District of California. He has issued this publicly to Ginsler and Robert Cook regarding a resolution to the MMTLP fiasco. Um, huge shout out to Drew and Laker J and Magnificent Dream and Juan and forgive me if I'm leaving anybody out but uh, those are the names that I'm I'm fairly sure are responsible for getting this letter so shout out to you guys anybody else who was a part of this shout out to you as well um, the community is very large so it's it's kind of hard to keep up with everyone but huge shout out to the people who were able to get uh, Mr. Valadeo's letter out so this is this is big news I am doing this because I know that there are some MMTLP shareholders who are not on Twitter and not on Space Chats and I believe that everyone that holds MMTLP shares deserves to know this information so I'm putting this out there I will make sure to leave information leading to this letter in the description and I think this is huge news you have yet another congressional member calling out for the share count regarding MMTLP so again this is huge this is this is great news uh, this is probably number if I'm not mistaken number five number four five I believe it's five uh, I think I have the math wrong on the amount of letters out right now but this is the latest and it is a another big step in the right direction for a MMTLP share account which is what we need so I'm gonna leave a link for the full letter in the description for anyone who has not been able to see it yet and hopefully that this information gets out to every MMTLP shareholder it is imperative that every holder knows about this so I'm gonna do what I can to make sure this information gets out thanks again for watching please like comment subscribe the more views and likes this gets the m easier it is to get out to individuals who aren't actively on Twitter and would like to get access to this information so please again like comment subscribe I'll try to do more videos like this in the future and if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comments I will get to them at my earliest convenience. Thank you all and have a nice day.